Hi. Part of being a good web publisher is basically knowing how to set permissions in the event your page does not show up for some reason. Sometimes it could be your permissions. So setting your permissions in Dreamweaver is really easy. You can just go right to your server files and I would just right click on the folder, go to set permissions, and I find that the 755 works best. So you just have to type in the number right in this box here. And it should be okay for you. Um, make sure that your files also are have that same permission. Okay? 755. That allows you to read and write and execute to that particular server. And it, you'll notice that your your web pages will show up. Also, why I why I have your attention, while I have your attention, you should look at the way my folders are labeled. You see, I have public underscore HTML, and then inside there, I have all of my Lab One folder files inside of there. The asset folder also contains your images. Your images will not show up unless you have the assets folder inside there. Basically, um, for the first chapter in Dreamweaver, they're asking you to change the file names. Um, it's simple for me. I just go like this, and then I go edit, and then rename. But um, you can also open the file, like so. Okay, it's, uh, it's got to be in there. Once the file is open, you can also save the file save the file and give it a name as well. You see, you can save the file and give it a name. Um, over, you should always have both the server side and the local files open at the same time so you can see what you're doing when you're uploading the files. Okay, this tells me the right side is the local computer and the left side is the server. Okay, you notice that I have at, le at least, well, I have four, I only have one now, okay? Um, but you should actually create another folder inside of your Lab1 folder, and you can call it new folder, and then call it Bloom. I like to use all lowercase, Blooms. And then you can put all of the files pertaining to the Bloom site inside of Bloom, the Bloom folder. You can do the same thing for TripSmart and Caroline Creations. Okay, new folder, TripSmart, one more time. This is all inside of the Lab1 folder. That's why I'm right-clicking on the Lab1 folder. Edit, uh, sorry, new folder. And I'll call that Caroline Creation, or just CC, actually. You can just do CC. I like to put an underscore in between names so the server doesn't get confused and put percent signs there. You always put an underscore when you're trying to create a space. Okay. I think that should get you going for the most part. And then you put everything that's associated with the particular uh, sites inside these folders. Okay. That should do it. Thank you.